Good morning, we're here at Cremona Musica. We're in the stand of Carbon Clang. Well, my name is Dietmar Zonewitz. I'm from Carbon Clang, and we make carbon fiber instruments uh, from now about almost 10 years. We started making them for Mezzoforte, you might know, from Germany. Yes. And then some years later, we decided to make our own products a little bit upmarket. Um, that's why we are here now for the first time. It's the first and time, your yeah. first time in Cremona Musica. It's the first time, just to show the people our new products and how they sound. <laughs> is it important nowadays to be at Cremona Musica? For sure it is, yeah. Because basically we've been in Frankfurt, but as Frankfurt to my mind is dying, it doesn't make any more sense to be there and... There's a music fair as well, no music messe. Yeah. We've been there yeah. many times, but it doesn't work anymore for us. So I think it's a place to be, yeah, absolutely. Would you like to show us some of your products? Of course I will. This is our kind of basic carbon fiber instrument. It's completely made from carbon fiber, including the fingerboard. And it has, to my mind, outstanding thermal qualities compared with every other product made from carbon fiber up to now, but uh, Ellie will show us later. The shape of the instrument, uh, is it a design, a particular design by, by someone or is it a teamwork? Uh, how does it? It's more or less a teamwork between a very good friend and violin maker, friend of mine and violin maker, and me. We both designed this instrument, the shape, the arching and Yes, it's a very, very unique uh, shape and rather it, different from it, the standard classical... Violin. It is, yeah, but to show the difference and the design is also orientated to um, kind of focus on the properties of the material. It's not just copying a Stradivari or Guarneri or something like that, but to make a carbon fiber instrument that works the best way you could. The bridge is a standard bridge. The bridge is a standard maple bridge, yeah. Um, in this case, the chin rest and the uh, tailpiece is also made from wood, but all the other parts are something more modern. And the strings are nothing different or particular, they're normal? No, violin. in this case we have um, Peter Infeld, but we also use Pirastro strings and some other. How about the bow that can be used on instruments of this kind? We prefer carbon fiber bows for personal taste, <laughs> but that's up to the, the inch. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Arcus Bows has some very, very good matching bows now, which kind of enhance the sound of this instrument even more. So you need a bow which features a little bit of darker sound, because the instrument itself is very bright. If you have a really bright sounding bow, it might be too much. It might be too much. Great. A good combination then. Yeah. And this is the latest addition to our kind of program. <laughs> the family. Yeah, or family, as you might call it. Um, a little bit more traditional look, yes. but it's still a carbon fiber instrument. The top is carbon fiber? The top is carbon fiber, as well as the ribs and the back. But there is a very, very thin specially formed veneer on it to get this more traditional look which might make it easier for orchestra musicians for example to play this instrument because they sometimes fear a black instrument for sure. and it Just also uncommon. kind of modifies the sound in a given way of course but that's a matter of personal taste some prefer the pure carbon fiber instrument some prefer the a little bit warmer and um, not that bright sound this instrument has. Is there a particular design inside the, the instrument as well? or can it Well, you can, might look light. inside, yeah, yeah. but um, all you see is just the carbon fiber. How about the sound post? In this case we use, well, in every case we use Anima Nova, Anima so Nova, the yes. um, adjustable sound post. Basically because it works really good. <laughs> good collaboration. And yes. Paul Molnar is a really good friend of mine, so we know each other for quite a long time and I knew his father very well. 
he's been a guest of ours as well. Yeah, you, you, you know him. Yes. Yeah, it's a little bit different design. It has some kind of reminiscence hang to it. the old. And you can hang it as we do it here yeah. or wherever you want. Yes. It's also very practical in the workshop. <laughs> can, you, can you tell us uh, your website, uh, social? Well, the website is quite easy. It's carbon-klang.de or .com whichever you want to have and then you will be directed to an English or German website version. E email address? The email address is as well easy info at carbon-klang.de In social networks we have uh, Facebook where you will find us as Carbon Klang. We have quite a lot of special material over there. There are also little videos, a lot of images, pictures, yes. some pictures of how we make these instruments, which might be interesting as well. What we do not have at the very moment is Instagram, but maybe in the future.